completing the gold pass and collecting your rewards, it's nice, but there's an even better feeling which you're going to experience with me in this video. It will take the entire season of focus in order to pull this off. And before I even purchased the pass, there was a problem. Is there a way of not seeing this? Or do I have to not purchase the pass this month and do this next month? I'd be missing out on my hero skin. I'd have to get it with gems. Okay, okay, okay. There must be a way to do this. If I don't purchase the pass, I'm going to be reminded every time about this forge slot. It didn't enter us into the season challenges by clicking that button. And although I'll get those 200 bonus points, if I press get, I've already purchased the gold pass via the Supercell store using code JUDO. If I press OK, can I get out of here fast enough? OK, exit, exit. Gold pass received. Nine notifications already. Oh, I can't press it to check what the challenges are. Let's check on my other account. Okay, so on this one, I can open it. Week one challenges included clan war battles, using dragons and destroying builder huts. But as I move through the video, I will receive new challenges each week. I nearly clicked it. I'm not even five minutes into the video. Okay, okay, okay. How many reward notifications will we end up with by the end of the video? I can't wait to find out. I started by completing my daily tasks in both villages. 12 notifications after my builder base. Then the other daily task is the donations. You don't have one gem donation. Oh no, because I can't collect it. <laughs> Yes, I will donate. 13 notifications already, but that's just the daily ones. We need to get to work on the first group of weekly tasks. Let's knock out the easiest one first for multiplayer wins with dragons. 1.85 million. I have the weirdest army. I guess I can get the collectors on the outside. Most of it's in the collectors. Do it the clan castle troops. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, let's just throw everything in and see what happens, I guess. Well, it's a one star, but we got the victory with the dragon. With the dragon task completed, we had 22 notifications, but I continued attacking. And whilst I do this, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor. Thank you to Marvel Snap for sponsoring today's video. Marvel Snap won mobile game of the year at the Game Awards, and it just launched on Steam with full widescreen support. It is a collectible card game with fast games, deep strategy, deck building, and amazing art from beloved comic artists. What I think is really cool about the game, to keep things fresh, they add a new card every week. So there is now over 220 cards in the game, each one bringing unique abilities. There's 115 locations, all having game altering effects and 1,300 unique card variants. This obviously means there is a lot of strategy in your deck building. For example, a really good card to build around is Sira. This is because she reduces the cost of all of the cards in your hand by one. So it can be really fun to set your board up, play Sira, on turn five and then slam as many cards down on turn six to take the win. To celebrate Marvel Snap launching on Steam with widescreen support, there are Twitch drops up until the 29th of August. So you'll have to be quick, but every two hours of watching content, you will earn a new card variant. Watch up to six hours, you will unlock all three of those card variants. There are also login bonuses. And if you log in through Steam, you will get an exclusive Mech Devil Dinosaur variant. To unlock that, Use my link in the description to download and play Marvel Snap on Steam. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. 29! Wow! Oh, I've got maximum gold and elixir, which means this always makes me nervous. Let's click here. Do not press the forge. That was our secret weapon. But if I press that gold pass 520 points, it will take me into the gold pass menu. So I have to scroll along and then we can get these builders working. It feels like such a shame since it's like half the price. But hey... That's what has to be done to make a video like this for you. It is the sixth day of the Clan War Leagues, and one of the challenges was to win six Clan War attacks. This base is a little bit obscure, but since there's no resource buildings at the top, I'm going to try and take down the Town Hall with sneaky goblins. Then, I'm actually going to use my traditional Super Minion clone blimp, but in the center of the base rather than the Town Hall. Let's just dive into this. We've always got the heroes as a little bit of a backup if I need them, but obviously the first thing I want to do is secure the town hall. And oh my gosh, the tornado trap was there. Did I get through the wall? I hope I did. I was not expecting the tornado trap to be there. Yes, we got through the wall. Okay, so we need to wait until that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Invis. That should be the town hall down. Okay. 
there. Five, this. Limp right at the side. What an ability now. Then what I'm going to do is try and clone the super minions into the middle of the base. Hopefully we can get the eagle. There is a lot at the top there. Oh my goodness. Let's send the RC from the top because if we can get that air defense down, save the freeze for maybe the Grand Warden. Okay, we're not looking too bad. 42 seconds, so we don't have to worry on time. We've got the Queen ability. Let's use the Queen ability to get through the scatter. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it would be great to get a three star for completing the challenge, but I think we're gonna be just short. No, oh well. You can't three-star them all. 34 notifications! I don't even know which ones I've completed and which ones I haven't. Let's switch accounts so we can open it up and have a look. Oh, we've got a bunch of other tasks as well. The weekly challenges of reset. So I'm pretty sure we've done this one. Probably 50 build We'll have done that. I don't think we'll have all done that. segments, done maybe dragons. not. I think at this stage, what I need to do is actually start writing these down and make sure that I get them done. And I'll be conscious on destroying the crusher since we need to take down a bunch of those. 500 walls in the builder base as well. How do I even track that? Oh, there's two crushers on the first base here. Nice. Oh, we're up to 36 notifications. Which ones did I complete? I have no idea. So this should be the seventh crusher. There you go. See, if I use the wall breaker, look, we're getting so many more wall pieces broken. 39! <laughs> One baby dragon in the army to start working towards that. And we can be working towards the star bonus. Let's see if we can find some nice loot. 99 problems. But your loot is not one. Okay, let's take this base down. Where's, does he have a monolith? He, it's on the outside of the base. Okay, so I think what we should do is put the baby dragon there. This, this, this. Ability. Oh no, I dropped the blimp. No, I meant to press the warden ability. <laughs> what is happening? Well, that was a fail. <laughs> But let's freeze that. Keep the super minions invisible to take down that town hall. We can do it. Town hall goes down. No, I've left all of that loot on the table. It happens to the best of us. Maybe 99 problems and my attacking skills is one. But never mind. Oh, and we're now up to 41. Last time it was, I believe, 72 was the maximum. But since they updated the gold pass, gave us even more rewards. That's why I wanted to do this video again. To see how far we can push that and it's so cool to watch it at the end okay we are in la for the mobies but i still want to be working through this video for you i am actually going to purchase a couple of these using code judo of course thank you for the support on the channel one million loot that is what i like to see and the eagle artillery out of action oh my gosh if i don't three star this well i should probably just quit the game i guess let's just send the balloons Dragons, send that. If we could get direct onto the monolith, that would be epic. There we go. Oh, I didn't consider the sweepers pushing my minions. We should still be good here. Try and get that town hall with the minions. Still got the freeze. Oh my gosh, we don't need that. Beautiful. And yes, in multiplayer, you want all of the loot, but it's still nice to get a three star. We can still use the baby dragon for funneling in the queen charge super hog rider attack. Where do I start my queen charge here? I feel at the top is very risky, but I can actually reach the town hall from this scatter shot section. Just so we're not diving into both expos and the heroes, you want to charge with this attack strategy a key area of the base. But I do want to just assure that I focus on this queen charge initially because there's going to be a lot of damage. You always want to rage beforehand. You don't want to allow your queen to take too much damage. And if I can break this junction, yeah, there we go. Look, then she reaches the town hall. Look at that. It's now start with the king on the outside the siege barracks we can actually break him in and then i'm going to send the hog riders now and i do need to make sure that they are good let's actually heal here oh queen ability oh see that's where i wanted to focus on the queen i think if we freeze here that might protect her a couple of other wizards on the outside here to clean up and that's it charge a dangerous area if you can get the town hall do so but make sure your queen is not just diving straight into the heaviest part where are we at 46 notifications a couple of them did go up so i think the troop might be completed but there's obviously more multiplayer ones to get through i have all of the tasks written down i was actually traveling all of last week as well i've barely been home this month. The raid weekend, that was actually one of the challenges. And I might as well take a look at the clan games results because that was actually one of the challenges last week as well. Oh gosh. <laughs> 
I can't collect anything. I've left this all too late. I've got to complete them all today. First thing on the menu, why don't we knock out the Builder Base challenges? 15 stars inside the first 60 seconds. That's going to be easy. Four Builder Base wins with the dropship. So there we go. Ah, now this is the thing. Does this register? I go dropship, drop all of my peckers. Force close the app, which is what I normally do to farm elixir real quick in the builder base. But did it count? The notifications went up to 68, but that is from our daily task. Let's see if we can get it up to 70 from doing this because the dropship one will work. Oh, we're on 71. No, that's confused me so much. What? Did we do it or did we not do it? That must have been a week three task, which I have completed gradually over the last week when I've done the odd attack. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, this one would be 15 stars and we're still on 71. So maybe I did complete it. Oh, I've still got this one gem thing I forgot. But there we go, that's my donations. This is what we got last time we did this before they revamped the gold pass. 72. So let's see what we get to this time. I'm working on a couple of different tasks. Tasks, hence the variety of units. Let's do the, well, I guess the wall wrecker here since I don't have a log launcher. And obviously a bunch of the passive tasks, if you will. Destroying the monolith, 50 builder huts. Let's actually start over by the builder huts, I guess. Oh. Okay, I know I haven't played in a week or two, but wow, one star it is. 75 notifications though. That means we completed a couple of the tasks. That's what I love about it. Even when you're not on your A game, you're still progressing towards it. Now, why don't we use the log launcher this time? Yeah, this one should be a little bit easier so long as I keep an eye on my queen. Queen, can you please go into the base? Maybe it was an underleveled base. Maybe it wasn't. I don't mind. Three stars are three stars. Completing all of these on the last day can be stressful. So I wanted to have some fun. Now I want to try the seven golem attack strategy or eight golem in this case, because the seven golem attack strategy was eight years ago. It was one of the first guide tutorials I brought on my channel. Does anybody else remember this? I'm just so curious as to whether it works. So let's use one jump spell there. We can spread the golems along this side, followed quickly by the Wizards, King, Queen, Warden, Log Launcher. We can actually use the jumps straight away, right? We don't have to worry about them expiring. Where's my queen for her ability? It's gone off. I don't even know where she is. I think we should. Oh, and she's over to the right. Is the town hall going down? It should. Wow. That worked pretty good. And I know we only get one attack towards the golem challenge. 79. So something went up based on that last attack. It wasn't the golems, the wall wrecker, or the log launcher. You can keep our fingers crossed that it was the daily star bonus because we just completed it from that attack. Oh, I want to click that notification button so much to find out if it was. <sighs> There's also a task of donating 30 housing space of spells, which I don't think I have yet. So I am just constantly requesting the spells from my second account. I am getting some pretty nice loot raids here today. Where should I charge, I guess? direct in towards the monolith. It's dangerous, but let's go for it. Like I said earlier, one stars. It progresses us towards the task, right? <laughs> Well, that is 80. That is the log launcher completely done. And after the next attack, we will have the wall wrecker and the golem tasks fully completed. 82. After double checking with my list, it seems that we only have builder huts, gold mines, elixir collectors. So I decided to go with the good old fashioned farming sneaky goblin attack strategy in order to complete these ones as fast as possible. And I had to keep requesting spells from my second account to assure that we completed that challenge as well. 84. 85. Oh my gosh. 86. 87 notifications. Here we go. Everything across this month has led to pressing this button. And I've left it until the last minute of the season so we can also auto collect all of the items. Let's go. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Look at the points flying up. <laughs> it's going too quick for me. Oh my goodness. The rewards. Oh, let's go. Every single reward. Where is the... <laughs> It is absolutely flying up right now. 
every single reward fully completed all at once. And we're not going to collect anything. 20 seconds for the season, over 4,000 points. There it is, the season has ended. And every item, oh, it converted it to gems. 592 gems. But did it give us the hero skin? I actually tested out that theory in this video. I'm sure you will like it. Enjoy the rest of your day.